Hello beautiful dear beloved Wild Hearts. My name is Yvonne Wild Heart and welcome to the Cycle Report for the 14th of July 2019. I come to you, now excuse me if I say this incorrectly, it comes from a full and loving intention. I come to you from Gunnamut country, um, King Parrot country here in the Otways in southern Victoria and we face the southern ocean. Here on this land, we are three weeks past winter solstice. So winter solstice being the deepest, darkest descent of the year and now we are on the ascent, even though it is still very dark and we're still very much in the void space. So I would equate this to, if I just swap hands, um, I would equate this to this point in this um, earth cycle as about one or two o'clock in the morning type of energy. You know, day one, or to day two of bleeding it's that still that very very inner space but we have clicked in and we are moving up and out even though it's still very much an internal process right now so what has been calling up this week in this space is the open heartness of acceptance and love so love unconditional love because when we raise our vibration to match what we're calling in, so most of us, I would say everybody does something because they think that it's gonna feel better and you know, and love is like the biggest calling in that we all want. We all wanna be loved, we all, wanna, we all want to love. And when we can raise up and meet that, that's gonna meet us. So, it feels like love and joy being the highest vibration there is. And so when we can reach that high vibration of love and joy, we connect ourselves back up to source. And so when we are exposed to this cosmos, which is at the moment very cosmic because we have more, we see more stars. So the unseen realm of the cosmic space. And when we open ourselves up to love, acceptance and joy, we are meeting that vibration of high vibration, which means we, we're more able to tune in and more able to you know, manifest the dreams that we are dreaming. So it's all about right now is that real dreamscape of gestation ideas and what we wanna call in for the next 12 months. Here in this land, we have um, the wattle which is bursting forth, reminding us that the sun is coming. The whales are coming in here to this, to this ocean, to this shore, to have their babies. So it's all about the preparation of having, you know, moving into your scent, moving out, having babies, you know, thinking and dreaming of the potential that is coming through. With this too, with the moon, we are, a couple of days away so we have on wednesday morning at about 7 30 a.m eastern australian eastern standard time we have a full moon eclipse so we are in a waxing gibbous so it's like a egg shape type moon which is equivalent to just before ovulation so moving into the peak energy but not quite there yet but we want to over and take note of what's been fully illuminated what's coming into full illumination with this full moon eclipse so the eclipse is all about what is being in full, full illumination from almost like the underworld space so we're fully illuminated what we normally can't see which sort of feels like it matches this energy of not being able to see everything like the cosmic space and being able to see more than what we normally would so that feels very much in line um, with the season and the full moon eclipse. So the darkness and the light, full illumination. Um, I am personally on day eight at the moment. So it's equivalent to like a um, spring equinox. So I'm come out and coming, emerging out of my cave and I'm moving into the fullness of my cycle, but still not quite there yet. I've still got, you know, I'm about halfway of the peak. Um, towards the peak so it's the ascent ascent and ascent so three ascents three the earth ascent the moon ascent thank you sweetheart um the in my body ascending so it's all about the 
the moving up and out. So that is this for this land and for my personal cycle, wherever it is for you, that is, um, you know, this is just the map and whatever it is for you is the terrain. So to remember that and it can shift and change and move. Take note of what's happening for you. I think that's the, the biggest thing. I only report on what's happening for me in hope to inspire and, you know, um, that you too can feel the magic of the cycle couple of things what's coming up um, I've got deep soul journeying which is a 12 session one-on-one -on -one with me Oop, down, 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 thank you which is all about coming home to yourself so it's a one-on-one -on -one and I guide you through birth stories sacred wound you know what's your relationship with love what's your superpower that's come from your woundings so calling yourself back home and guiding ourselves back into love from there, um, we've also got this weekend, we've got a, a triple workshop coming up this weekend in Central Highlands. We've got Auto Woman Harvest Queen, which is all about the Marga, the power of the Marga. Just stay right there. Thank you, darling. Um, I've got my nine-year-old beautiful daughter who has been my camera person right now. Um, we've got Moon Song, which is all about the cycles upon cycles upon cycles. So this work, there we go full depth into that and we've also got the connecting shamanic dimensions of pregnancy which is all about looking at birth and looking at pregnancy and seeing what lies underneath so letting go of fears exploring the beauty and the power that comes from birth and total community and holding through this process so that's open to birth workers and um, anybody who's thinking about being pregnant or who is pregnant so it's, it's very very exciting or anybody or any women who is interested in birth um, we've also got um, four seasons journey coming up starting um, we've got victoria four seasons journey starting in november or december we've got mullum we've got blue mountains so we've got central northern <laughs> Coast, New, Central Coast, New South Wales, and we've got Tassie, and I'll be in Tassie with Jane and Kristen. Um, that's uh, coming up, starting in February next year. So that is very, very exciting. So all the links are down below. Uh, I think that's it. It's about to pour here in Rainbow Land. Yeah, it says in the winter. Ah, uh, it's Luna. Okay, thank you. <laughs> From my beautiful heart to your beautiful, amazing, amazing hearts. I wish you so, so much love and gentleness in this full moon eclipse that's coming up. May you hold yourself in pure love. You can only love yourself as much as you love others, Brene Brown, and to remember that, to hold yourself very gently and tenderly through what could be an epic process for you. So much love.